today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bracelet like this. It's, I think it's my original design. I don't know if anyone else has done it before. But I was just experimenting and I thought it looked cool. So, to start off, we're going to have the arrow facing away from us. So, I'm going to choose a yellow colour to start off with. Just going to wrap four around the middle. So, one, two, three. So it should look like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm going to choose a hmm. I think I might choose a green. I'm gonna put it from my last yellow to the one on the left. I'm going to do the same other side. So it should look like that. Then I'm going to go three up each side. So one, one, two. And I'm going to do the same the other side. Like that. Then I'm just going to close it off like this. So you're going to put that one in. And that one in. So it should look like this. Then we're gonna grab our yellow again and go all the way to the end. What it should look like is this. Now we're going to do our crosses. So I'm going to choose a pink colour. This one is good to choose a colour that stands out. And we're just going to stretch it three bands wide. We're going to get another pink. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So it should be a cross. I'm going to do it all the way up from this box. Okay, so should look like this. Now we're ready for the hooking. So now we're going to turn it so the arrow faces us. Now we're going to find this band, if you see it here. Yeah. Going to wrap it round over. So it should look kind of like a teardrop shape. Now we're going to do that again. Hooking this band up. And again, okay, so we've got these teardrops going up, and then we're going to find this band, but in here. So for me, it is the second band, so I'm just going to 
try and find it. Ah, here we go. Put it over. And the same, the other side. This one should go an awkward shape like that. Okay, then we're going to keep doing this, but on this side. So, we're going to find this band, but in here. So, we're going to find it, put it out, wrap it around. Keep doing that. We're going to find this band in here. Hook it up, put it over the next band. We're going to find this band. In here, push the others out the way, put it up, your sh the sharp bit of your hook facing you, then wrap it round. Okay, now we're going to do that on the other side. Okay, so I've done it exactly the same on this side. Now we need to do these bits. So we're going to just find this band, ah, there it is, put it over, onto that. And do the same this side, over, onto there. So it should look a bit weird there, but overall quite nice. And then we're going to just find this yellow band. If you let go, make sure it doesn't slip through. There you go. Find this band. It's a bit easier because there's only one band to grab. And last, pull. So it should look like this by now. Then this one, we're just going to take it off. Find a clip. Wrap it round. Just gonna put it all off, make sure you get every single band off the loom, but don't let go of this one. Then pull the last one off, so it should look like this. Then we're gonna clip the other end of the clip onto there. Then your bracelet is done. Put it on. You can create different sizes, so that was quite a big one there. But that's one of my smaller ones, medium, big. You can adjust the pink bands to make them how you want. But that's the band. <laughs>